Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? It's day 18 of the 100 Day Craft Project. I, I started this video and then I, I had to redo it. So that's why it's already circled. It's day 18. Today is March 6th and um, we're gonna get started. But wait, oh, first I have to go through a few things. So first a few things. I wanna give out my beautiful blessings. So let me go ahead and do that first. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, beautiful blessings to Jennifer W., Bonnie C., Kim Holloway, and beautiful blessings to Missy. <laughs> beautiful blessings to you. And also, oh, beautiful blessings to Quit in Time. Okay, so uh, Quit in Time, you had asked me a question in reference to your bobbin and your threads keep getting all, um, you know, they kind of get uh, bunched up in the back of what you're doing. I, I again, I don't know what kind of sewing machine you have, or of course I can't take a look at anything, but I would definitely suggest to you to make sure that you have the correct bobbin for your machine. It's either you have the wrong size or the wrong brand bobbin, or your bobbin is in incorrectly. So I would check that out. You're stating something about it being like a bird's nest, you said. And that's usually the problem. It's sometimes the, it's either the wrong bobbin or it's in incorrectly. So check that out. I hope that works out for you. If not, I will call the company or Google it. Google the issue and your name of your machine, the brand. Okay. And then now we, I, so I gave out my beautiful blessings. I answered quitting time. Okay. So the giveaway. The giveaway is coming. It's in two days. It's on the um, 8th of March. It's the day 20 of the 100 Day Craft Project. If you haven't entered yet, you're new to my channel, just head on over to day 12 and take a look at the video and you'll see how to enter into the contest. It's a very generous giveaway. It w It's a, a large crafting supply item, very large given away, and it is in coordination with Deborah. She has donated it and then I have um, and, and in running it in charge of it on my channel. And it has to do with the little golden book and also all the supplies. And then it also has to do with all of her crafting stuff from her desk from last year's Junkie Edition 1.0. So if you don't know and you're new to my channel, I am teaching this year at Junkie Edition 2.0. It is in Round Top, Texas. It will be in September of 2024. Um, there are just a few seats left, you guys, in the class. I want to say that there were two. I can't really recall, but there are only two seats left in the class. Um, and it will be, um, yes, I believe it's September 19th of this year. It's a three, three night, four day craft event. And my theme for it is French beauty. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making things and creating things in a French um, type of way or a French feel. Okay, and then um, one more thing. I know I don't have to point this out, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. I'm saying it once and I hope I could leave it out there and not have to ever say it again. Um, I, I expect kindness on my channel because I give kindness. So if you have to take the time out to comment on my channel something that isn't kind, I will remove you. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for all my new followers. I just wanted to say that. That, does, that doesn't affect all of you, but um, I had to uh, remove some comments from my channel. So I'm sorry that I had to say that, and I never thought I would, but unfortunately, I did. Okay, now, Missy. Missy, Miss Tucker D. Is that is that your name on on here, Miss, Miss Tucker D. Yes, it is. Okay. So you had asked me about this wallpaper. I was confused and I'm sorry. This wallpaper is not released yet. This in particular, the only page, <laughs> it's the only page that you wanted. It's not released yet. This will be part two of the decorated wallpaper kits that's coming out soon. I'm only one person. Remember that. So please bear with me. So this wallpaper page is in the second kit coming out. 
on the first kit, there are many, many pages in there. So, I mean, I'm sorry that um, I misunderstood you. I do apologize, but I'm just clarifying it now with the visual in front of you. This page is not in the kit, in the decorated wallpaper kit. Okay, sorry for the confusion. All right, now we're moving along. I have a new kit out. Um, it is my, it is all the medieval pages that I like to use in collage. So this could be, this kit can be used for collage or it could be used as backers or you can make ephemera from it. You can do whatever you'd like, but it is the ephemera. It is the collage stuff that I normally work with on my channel. So I'm releasing it today. If you're seeing this in my video, it's already in my um, Etsy shop. Okay, so this is page one. This is page two. I know everybody likes numbers, so it was really cool to see all these numbers on the page of an old book. Page two, page three, and these are two unicorns. Isn't that cute? <laughs> page three, page four, page five, page six. These are some borders. Isn't this cool? Page six. Page seven, page eight, page nine, page ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I love this calligraphy writing. Thirteen. 14, it's a music sheet, <laughs> 15, I love the fonts on here, 16, for all those numbers girls, <laughs> the girls who like numbers, 16, some more borders, and 17. So these are the pages that I like to use in my collage. And the, some of this, like, you know, it won't, it's not necessarily going to make a page in a book. I mean, but you could. I mean, you honestly could if you did that and backed it. And you could do, of course, do this and back it. But I like to use these in collage. So it's up to you. You can do whatever you'd like with them. There are 17 pages, you guys. All right, so let's get started now. Um... Yeah, because it's already been seven minutes. Okay, let me pull up my sleeves here and we're going to get started. I am working with some of my digitals and I'm also going to be working with the new kit here. I'm working with um, some ledger paper, um, some book pages. This is French ledger paper. And, you know, that's it. That's all I have on my desk. And some book page. I think that's all I'm going to need. I don't, I always take out too much. So we'll see. And I'm also going to be working with um, junk mail. So I already have some of the junk mail already ready to go. And you can do that when you want to, when you don't have anything else going on. So I, I normally, I do that. So, but we'll go ahead and I'll do one with you. And then we'll get started. I am going to um, open up the letter. I use, you can use a knife, a ruler. A craft knife you can use whatever you want I'm opening it up on the sides hopefully it opens good <laughs> okay so now I have an entire envelope here the whole thing it's still glued on the back I like opened it this way along the top so it's it's got a lot of different um, ways that you can open it but this is the way I did it and you know what I just have to grab my cutter because it's over on my little table. Hold on one second. Okay. I, I want to clean up the edges around the envelope, but I'm going to see what I'm going to do first because there's many things I could do. I could make this uh, a flip in the book. Now let's get a book and take a look at it. Hold on. Let me get one here. I'll get this just for demonstration. 
me find a page on here. Okay. Now, I can have it open where it's attached this way. And it, whoops, and it opens from here like that. I could flip it around so that it opens this way, like here. I can have this be a pocket and this be a tuck. I can have this removed and it just be a, a flip like that. I could have it just be a flip. So there are so many things the, to do with this envelope. It's very versatile. You can do so many things with your junk mail, your used envelopes. So let me show you. Now you can play around with it and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have done in the past and how to do them with what you have to work with, all right? So let's just say I want to um, just make this a flip and a pocket. Yeah, a flip and a pocket, okay? I would get rid of this part over here, this whole extra part. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler and remove it. Now, it doesn't matter to me that some of that came off. You can discard this or keep it and use it. I'm going to fold this up to make the pocket. And you can make it as short or as tall as you want, the, this, uh, the height of your envelope. So we'll go about here, about there. Now, of course, this is facing my window, and you're going to see it on the inside. But that's okay. We can just push this down like that, right there. And there we go. So now you can't see the window through the window that my pocket is on this side. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe I should take a sip, hold on. Okay, now I can clean up all the edges, but I'll do that in just a moment. I'm gonna make this so that it's like the envelope flap. So when I go to put it on my page, I can collage over it and it's not so much bulk. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just slightly, very slightly trim in here like that to get away the bulk. And then I'm going to go over here like that and do that on that side. Okay, so now I have my pocket and I have where it will attach. I'm going to show you that in here. I have where it will attach in the book. So if I put that on the paper like that, I collage on the back side. Here I have the pocket and the flip. But now, let's just say you didn't want it on that side. What if you didn't want it on that side? What if you wanted it to go on the other side? How do you do that? How do you get it over there? Well, you reverse everything. You go like this and you flip it backwards. And then you turn the pocket and you flip it this way. And you flip this this way like that and now you can collage it on the back there and it will be from here and you'll just collage over everything so you just turn it around you flip it that's all you do to get it to move to the opposite side and i know some of you are probably thinking oh my gosh donna i already knew that that's so simple well guess what i'm telling all of you that didn't know it because i guarantee you there's some of you that didn't know it because as backwards as my brain works i didn't know it in the beginning i was like how do i do this how do i get it to the other way how am i going to do this how how do i get the envelope to open up to the other way eh. well you just flip it around silly silly donna Okay, now I'm just trimming off all this excess stuff off here so that it's not so jaggedy. And there, we have that. And now we have, so this, this could, you know, you, I could save this in my pile of stuff, in my, add it to my pile of envelopes that I need to make. So let's do one more and we'll use the whole envelope. So give me one second and let me show you that. We're gonna use a whole envelope now to make a pocket out of and things like that. And we can make a little
flip. And then you see these big backers, they could become side tucks. You could just um, collage the back side of it and cut it down a little bit and maybe make it a side tuck. Because you're, you're reducing waste that way. Okay. And then also the envelopes with the two windows, you don't have to keep both windows. When you're collaging, you can cover one of them up. Any one you want, but I would probably do the outside one, but you can cover it them up. You can cover both of them up if you wanted. You wouldn't have to keep both. And right, let me find, let me find a good envelope to do, to do something with. Maybe we'll just use this one. Okay, so we're going to open this one up. And then also, you don't have to clip the ends. You could just go like this too, and it will open it right up. Just take a tiny bit off of each side. Just a little sliver, and it also opens up the envelope like that. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up over here. I'm just gonna clean it up. And then, do I want to clean it all up or add more paper? I think I wanna clean it up. Then I can add more paper on it anyway. Okay, let me do that first. Okay. And I can go ahead and when I'm collaging and just add more paper there to straighten out the rip that's there. All right, now let's just say I wanted to use both sides. I'll go ahead and take this out of here. I'll take this out of here very carefully because you don't want to, of course, rip it all up. Okay. And I'm probably going to need to, well, this is rounded now. So I lost half of it, so let's just do the rest of it. Well, look at that. Now we're getting a side tuck in there because it already has that groove in there to look so pretty as a side tuck. So maybe we'll use this as a side tuck too. Let me insert it into the book like that. So let's use this as a measurement. Let me see, but that's not what I wanted to show you. But it's my channel, I guess, and I could change it around if I wanted to, right? You guys wouldn't mind. <laughs> so we can do this right in here. We can make it a flip open, a flip open, maybe a pocket, and then a tuck. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, let's save that. Let's do that for in here. But I just wanted to show you <laughs> how you do the envelope um, with the window. I don't know if I could do it on here. I guess I could. Let's try it. Because it's uh, it was ripped the wrong way. But let's just go ahead and give it a try. And I'll just get rid of the rip. Or I can even collage over the rip. But I think it's going to... I think that it's going to... Um... No, it's not going to be okay. Let me get rid of this back here. Because we don't need it all. And of course, my cutter is not cooperating with me because it's too short. Sorry, I hit the phone. Okay. There we go. Now, instead of taking off backside to make it like an envelope flap so that it attaches we're going to use the backside and create like a double kind of a pocket yeah that would be good and this can flip up like this so we want to all you have to do is just take the center out right here like this just a tiny little sliver of it like that and you'll collage over your whole little envelope and then you'll attach it in your book using this part of it so that it's like a a dual kind of a um like a double pull out instead of you know attaching it here you're keeping this portion of it and you're attaching it on here and if you want, we can extend this to tomorrow. I don't know that I'll have time to do both, but let's just get started in decorating 
and then we can go ahead and attach and do it that way. All right, let's do that. So we have this one here. Let's take out our paper and we'll start to collage it. And we'll, I think I'm gonna put it here, I like that. So let me, let me put a bookmarker here. I'll use the bunny. The bunny will keep the bookmark there. And we'll go ahead and start decorating this one. Oh wait, I need to get the size first. I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me get the size of the paper first so I don't have to go overboard and decorate what I don't need. And maybe, well, I only need to take a little bit off each side, so I'll just do that. And I'm taking a little off of each side because this already has like a groove in it, and I want to keep that. Oops. I lose the page. I don't want to lose the page. So, I'm going to take a little bit off of here, and a little bit off of here. And we're gonna decorate. All right, let's get started. And I'm just gonna use this new kit that I have to pull some collage off of. I don't know, so many things. I love so many things, you guys. I think I'm gonna go with this to start. Okay, and I tear with my ruler. I like doing that. Let me move these out of the way. And we'll get started. Okay. Oh, I don't believe I asked you how you all are. I hope you're all well. I had a wonderful time at my sister's. Um, we actually went to go see Dune, the movie Dune. It was really good. It was the second movie that had come out. I saw the first one with my children, and I saw the second one with my sister. We enjoyed it very much. We went to a movie theater near there that was like a dine-in movie. So we got treated at our seats. It was a lot of fun. So much fun. Okay. And we, and we got to catch up. And, and we got the things done that we needed to get done. All right. How's this going to go in the book? This way? I just don't want to put it, uh, things on upside down. That's going to be this way. And this is going to be my... Oh, I like this blue. Maybe I'll work with that blue and leave stuff on there. Okay, like that over there. Let's do that. And sometimes I do straight um, on the envelopes and sometimes I do rips. So it just, it all depends on really what I'm in the mood for when I'm creating it. You can do either or, you can do all straight, you can do all rips, you, you can do whatever you want. I'm covering up this first window, and I'm just going to use um, what I just created to do that. And I'm going to cover it up on the other side, too. So, um, I'm not concerned about the glue showing through the window. I hope I'm in camera and move my stuff out of the way over there. All right, so here I am. I'm going to cover it up over here. I need a card. Okay, so I have that there. I'm just gonna keep going with the collage. Um, I could miss it or skip and work around and do other things. Like I could go to the front and take a look at that and start to collage there. It, it all depends on how my brain is working. So there is no right or wrong way. Whoops, sorry, shouldn't be on there. There's no right or wrong way to collage. It's just how you, um, what you're liking, what's your style. Um, you could have a pile of scraps and just go using all of them and not even 
create your collage from digitals. However, I like to use digitals to collage with, so basically that's where I start. Um, I'm thinking I like a piece of this too. I really like these numbers a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. They're from an old ledger. Okay. I'm just taking the whites off because I'm going to take a look at what my options are here. And maybe I like this down here like that. And I actually love that U.S. Post Office stamp, so I might try to keep that on there. A little bit of it. Let me see if I can't just do a tiny bit more. Yeah, I like that. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, so I had a, a great time. I had a wonderful, 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 wonderful time. I missed Ciro so much. I'm going to go see him tomorrow. And then last night I went to, uh, when I was on my way home, my girlfriend asked me if I wanted to go, go to the, um, go to the, uh, game, the hockey game. So I said, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> that was a lot to fit in one day, but I did it. I did it. <laughs> mm, I don't know if I want that there. Let me just see. I think I want to do more. Maybe I'll do this one. Maybe. We'll see. These are such beautiful pieces of border. Beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful. I'll just use that like that there yeah I like that I like that we'll see how many I get what I get done because we're already at half hour you guys this does take a bit and plus I was talking in the beginning so you know collaging on an envelope because there's so many intricate small places to collage with it does take a little bit of time but it is so worth it <laughs> and it's fun it's a lot of fun let's see i'm just gonna go all up with this and see what i got oh i like that but that's touching the window so i'm gonna have to fix that and let's go in and look and see what I have over here for the, I have some book page and some ledger to pull from as well. I'm trying to stay organized on my desk. Just do that look at that that fits right there perfectly all right now let's look at some paper some oh that fits there okay let's do that and you just want I just mix it up with book page with ledger with receipts with it with anything that you have on hand using real things like real ephemera pieces with the different paper type and then mixing it with um, digitals to have a different paper type. Now I wanna, I should have put this up. Let me, uh, I'm gonna rip this down here. Whoops, I got gluey fingers. I'm gonna rip, give this a jaggedy ripped edge like that because I had this ripped and that ripped and that didn't look right straight. Okay, 
So I'll go ahead and do that now. And glue that down. And you can do these envelopes in any kind of, you know, with any kind of way. Of course, this is like medieval kind of renaissance -y kind of feel. And you can use whatever papers you want. They could be fun and bubbly and pinks and reds and greens and blues and Easter and all that kind of stuff. They don't have to be medieval at all. No way. Let me see here. I have this beautiful book page. Look, see, no one read the book. Did you guys ever know that? I know I've said that before on my show or my channel, but see, you might be new. So when the books are like this and the pages are all together, that means no one even read it. That's what that means. Isn't that just crazy? No one read the book. I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little bit of this off because it's plain. This page, this paper has been damaged with water, so it's very it rips very easily. And I'm just going to collage right here this piece, working my way. Uh, to the envelope. Now I probably cut off too much. But let's see. Because I just want to get it um, just around this window. No, that's okay. A little bit is fine showing through. A tiny bit. It's just a tiny bit. I'll probably cut this off at the top. I'm telling you, it's like it cuts like butter. Okay. Yeah, so I went to, so la so I was so tired because I'd come in yesterday and then I had the game. <laughs> so I wasn't even home for not but 20 something odd minutes. And then I was walking out the door again. <laughs> and then I didn't get in until late. All right, let's look and see what else I have here. What did I rip? Oopsie. What else did I rip up? I don't know what a circle will look like up the top, but let's try it. I kind of like it. I do. Okay, so I'm just going to get the length of it, and then, or the width of it, and then I'll just rip right there, and I'm going to put that down right there. And these are all scraps, and I could use them on the other side. I'm not done yet. Oopsie. And you guys can do this, you know, you just go through your junk mail or save it. Save your junk mail rather than throwing it away. And then you can kind of, I mean, junk mail comes every single day. <laughs> so you can kind of go through your stuff and see what you've accumulated to make stuff in your journals. And create them, you know, so that you have them in your stash. I think I'll do use the piece of this. There and let's see. I use a piece of this too. Um, just kind of getting the feel of what my collage is going to look like. white on there so I'm going to take it off. Some of these have borders around them. I couldn't make them quite so large because then you'll lose the quality of the picture. It starts to become blurry and you don't want that. So um, let's see. I'll go up to about there and put that in there. Or we'll do this. Well 
Hmm. Or maybe I'll just use a little piece of that down here, a little bit more in, or how about over? I don't want to waste too much of this because I don't have much left. <laughs> I need to get some more real, real French ledger. <clears throat> okay. Mm. I think about there. So I'm just going to rip. I'm trying to get all my basics done around the, around where I'm going to um, glue it. And plus I want to preserve this crease in here because it's going to close up. Actually, is this the, no, I'm not doing a pocket on here. I'm going to make the pocket, right, because this is our tuck. Okay. So I'm going to put that there and we'll do another little piece. Yeah. What else do I have? How about this? Yes. I just take a little piece off here. I'm going to probably keep that flat up there. Well, yeah. And then find out where that is there. Because we have the crease in mind here. So I'm keeping that in mind as I'm working. Like that. And then I need this covered here. So what can I use? And how about this? We'll take this from here. And I bet you that will look nice down there. All right, so let's start gluing these things on. Go ahead and glue them on and see where we're at. <laughs> And decorating envelopes are a lot of fun. They really are. Um, they're kind of like, if you are a crafter and you enjoy the craft and it comes easy to you, um, they're a bit of like a puzzle, like figuring out a puzzle. <laughs> but if you are, uh, if things don't come easy to you, don't let it struggle you. Don't. Just collage it. It's only a piece of junk mail. If you're using digitals, it's only digitals. You can reprint them. Don't let it struggle you. And then honestly, if you put something down that you really, really don't like, just cover it up with another piece of paper. That's all. That's all you have to do. You don't have to let it struggle you. Cover it up. Use another piece of paper or Start all over and wait for tomorrow's mail and get another piece of mail. Or ask your family. Ask your family for their junk mail um, leftovers. They might be able to give you some of their stuff that they don't want. <laughs> Rather than them throw it away. Ask them for the junk mail. Junk mail envelopes. Okay, we have that there. And then I had this here. I think we'll keep that. I think I'll, well, maybe, do I want it on top? Let's see. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do it on top. I gotta check now. And maybe I'll just rip it just a little bit closer. And then I'll do it on top. Okay, so put this down first. How did I have that? Oh, this way. Uh-huh. See, I don't even know anymore. Okay. And butted it right up there to the window. And then I'm going to put this down on the on this top. Like that. Look at that, that's our front. 
This is our tuck, gonna be our tuck. And maybe we could do something, well, we can do something nice so that there's something in the window behind there. We can. Um, let's see, do we wanna put this? Oh yeah, I like that. Or maybe we can do a tag with something on this. Maybe we'll do that, okay. And um, let's see what we have back there. How about some of this? There. And I'll do it this way. I'll just turn it to the side. I did want to leave some of that blue showing. I don't know how that's going for me. Let's see. Let's do this. And keep the 21 and we'll remove this over here okay let's take a look I'm just trying to see what it would be like if it would be easier for me to put the whole piece down because sometimes that will work easier for you but I don't think so I think I'm just going to take a piece of this and I will put it towards this window but I'll use the crease I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna fold this in this way. Like that. So that this works better in my crease. That's what I'm going to do. Now I, I have some left over on the window here, but that's okay because I'll just rip it. I'll rip it this way. Because I already, well, you know what? Maybe I'll do it so I could use my, use it more over. So I'll just change my crease. That's all. I'll just change it because I did do it in the center. Whoopsie. So I need to, I'm using, I'm using this as a guide and my window as a guide. So bear with me here. I'm gonna put this over more. And don't mind the way I craft. I know that it's, <laughs> I use, I do everything by eye, so. this down here like that and now that's my new crease in here so let's see if it's good and it's gonna fold correctly and let's see if it touches it doesn't that's the back side so we'll put that in like that so I'm gonna make the crease a little bit um, you know crisper oopsie and now I'm gonna glue the back. Here, like that. Okay, I got a little glue on my table. I didn't mean to. Oh, I got lots of glump glumpy glue on here. I think what I'm gonna do is I need to get something to wash my hands. Okay, I'm putting this up at the top like that, lining that up there. And I'm going to And I only did that with the crease so I could close it now. Otherwise, I'd have to wait for it to dry. And we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> okay. Now, how about we put some of this over here, like that. We can, we can go all the way up to the corner and then I could just cut out what's there. I don't know if that piece is big enough though. I don't want that piece. Um, let's see what else I got. Let's 
do this one. Let's see if the whole thing will come out. We could just leave this little piece at the bottom showing and maybe that piece up at the top. I like that. All right, let's 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 take this off here. And then we'll take the side off too. And we'll take the bottom off here. Okay, if I went all the way over, I can just cut. I can cut on the side, the back side, and take it off because it's going to be a pocket. So I like that. And let's just find a bottom piece. What about the music? Oh, how about that guy? I like him. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, I was leaving some of the blue. Maybe we'll just leave that. I like this. I like this piece here. Let's, let's see what happens when I use it. And like I said, this is my some of my favorite pieces to use in collage. Um, when I make my medieval books, these are the my go-to collage pieces that I have that I like to use. Hmm. Now see, I don't like. Now I don't like it. I did. All right, maybe we'll just use that somewhere else. Let's see what else. I did like it, but now I don't. Hmm. How about? Well, that's, we have that over there, so I don't want to put it again. How about this piece? I think my problem is that these two colors are the same. So let me get something that's not the same as that. Well, where's that flower? How about a piece of the flower? Or even this is pink. No, nope, still the same. Okay, wait. Let me get a piece of the flower. Oh, wait. How about a piece of the trim? Do I have anything thick enough? Uh, and hold on, let me go with the flower. Okay, I did say the flower. Let's do that. I think that's gonna look good. I move these off to the side for a second. So I'm getting all up in my way here. I'm definitely in my own way. Sorry for working off camera. And I just want a big piece of this flower. So I'm going to do it this way first, just to see what I get. And we can leave a little piece of that. I think I like it. And so let me just go ahead and trim off a piece here. Maybe we'll even bring it closer. Oopsie. Oh yeah, all right, I like that. And I'm gonna rip, jaggedy rip. Even though I use the ruler, it's okay. I'm jaggedy ripping, I'm putting that underneath. Mm. Or maybe on top, I'll jaggedy rip there. I know this video is gonna be a little long, I apologize. That's because we talked in the beginning and I showed you. So it is like a crafting, craft with me tutorial. That's what it is, a tutorial. Okay, I'm going to glue this up and put this on top. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do this again tomorrow and do some more envelopes in different ways. I will go ahead and do that. Um, we can work in the bunny book too, in the little golden bunny book. We can do that too. We have so many things we can do. <laughs> there is so many things when we are still young in the days of the 100 day craft project. It's still very young yet. Okay, I'm just going to glue that and then I'll cut all the excess off. And then you need to make a tag and a little pocket. And of course, I did glue more than I should. 
and that's okay. I'm okay with it. Okay, so I have all this back here. I could even go and... Am I going to have to... I don't know if I'm going to have to... Um, cover that because of the fact that it's a like gummy there. And I don't know what it's going to do when I put it down on the page if my paper is going to get stuck. I don't know. I would hope not. I'm just using the envelope curve to cut that out. See that? Let's go ahead and put our creases in. Love it. Where do we want this pocket? Do I want it here? Maybe I'll have it here. I'll do the pocket there. Why not? I'm going to do... No. No. How about we do... I needed something completely different. Oh, how about we do one of these... A border. That's what we could do. And we'll just do a small little pocket. Like it's not not so not so huge. It doesn't have to be big and deep. Just big enough to hold a tag. So we're gonna do one of those too. <laughs> quickly. Quickly. I don't know how uh, sugar. I don't know how quick I'm gonna get it done, but I'm gonna try for you. we go well how about we use the two hearts well no i'm going to use the square only because it looks so different that we'll be able to tell there's a pocket down there we could even do two pockets you guys no i'm just going to do one <laughs> i'm only going to do one and i think what i'm going to do is just Let me make sure I gave it enough to, I didn't. I have to snip off just a little bit more. Okay, that's good. One, one more little snip. I think what I'm gonna do is just get a bit of a little glue at the bottom and not so much on each side to make it just like a tuck pocket. And it's only just a sheet of paper, so that's good. Love it. Just clip these corners because they were rounded and it didn't match, but now it does. <laughs> good idea, huh? Okay. And now let's do a let's do a tag. We're going to use this. That's why I set it aside. Let's back it. We can back it with this. So I'll go ahead and just glue and put it on the back. That was a piece of the, the music sheet that was in there. Okay. That's good. We can... Whoopsie. I have this white border here, so it's got to come off to the side just a little bit. Okay, let's get our trimmer. Or maybe I should cut it. I like using my trimmer, but it's all gluey. Maybe I should use my trimmer because I'm making a mess. Let me just get it. Oh, 
Ai, ai, ai. Okay. Now this side. And then this side. Whoopsie. Now I have more straight edge. Let me get let me get my straights now. Once you make a straight edge, it's easier to cut all straight edges if you have one straight edge. Good. Okay. Oh, you're making a mess. All right, now I don't know what I what I just do with it. Oh, it was on something. <laughs> I know I have some fussy cut things here, so let me just take a look at what I have. I think. I thought I had some of my... Oh, wait, she's pretty. Yeah, will she look good on here? Hmm. And how about in here? How will she look in here? Pretty? Oh, yeah. Let's use her. Okay. First, I'm going to trim it up. Of course, trim off all the whites. And this is in the Renaissance Eve kit. Let me just do this because otherwise, I'll just be going around and around and around and redoing it until it gets straight. And that's a waste of time. Oh, I love her on there. And then, what if we just use one of the little labels? We don't have any reason for this chicken to be on there, but maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. Because I'm trying to rush. Because. already pulling 57 minutes but that's all right that's all right I'm really not worried about it because I know you my crafting buddies are enjoying the process with me not against me <laughs> let's put the little chicken here and then her on top huh no you need to cut the bottom more of the bottom off the chicken he's too big We'll put the little chicken there and her on top in the center. I'm liking that. I like it. All right, and then even, I'm trying to see if we did a little bit of the trim, but no, I don't think so. And let me just look over here. Oh. Well, I do have a piece of rag, rag stuff. Possibly we could just Take a little piece of that. Put it, use it with something somewhere. And maybe a little piece of this. And then I'll let you guys go. And remember to let me know in the comments if you want some more of the making more envelopes tomorrow or the little Golden's book or I'll take a vote. <laughs> right now I'm, you know, just going with the flow and working on everything I can <laughs> so I can, you know, get stuff done. All right, I know we only got this one envelope done, so I did say it was going to take a bit. It does take a bit. It's like figuring out a puzzle. Um... You know, it gets better if you have all your strips and things already. You know, I, I say that the when you're creating your pages to go in your journal, you cut strips off to make the size correct for your journal. Save those strips because that kind of process makes the process of collaging your envelopes quick. Um, and I think I learned that from Miss... Rachel, 
over at Roxy Creations. Uh, she does that. She suggested that on her channel, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so right. It makes it go quick. And let's see if we just took a little flower here, maybe this one. And a little piece of this fabric. Oh no, well, I didn't want to do that because I want her to be in the... Or maybe we'll do it on the back. Yes, let's do that. And then a little paper clip. We'll do it from the side like that so we can see the flower too. I'm going to go ahead and clip these corners and we made a little tag to go into there and then I'm going to put it in the book and I'm going to say goodbye until tomorrow. How pretty. Mm. Let's get the page. And we will just put it, well, I really liked this page, huh? Let me see if there's a different page that I wanna put it in. I really did enjoy that page. That one has something. How about here? Is it the same size? How about here? Yeah, I think I like it here. I just need to take a tiny bit off there. And I think I'm going to put it there, but I'm not going to do that with you. I'm going to let her dry all up. I'll take the tiny bit off there and then I'll attach it. And then we'll have our tuck here. So you can see this can go in there. And then we have our pocket, like a little tuck there. And you could see that through the window. And we'll put a little tab on here as well. But we won't do that now. We'll save it. Maybe, maybe you guys will vote to do some more tomorrow. So beautiful blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel so I know you are there. If you like my content, press like, say hi to me, subscribe to my channel, of course, because that helps me out in the algorithm. You know, you do all those YouTubish stuff, things. All right. I'll see you guys again really soon, my crafting buddies. Remember, if you're watching this video, that, um, that um, kit is up in my shop already. It's called Medieval Collage Kit. Medieval Collage Kit. Yes, that's what it's called. Okay, <laughs> or medieval collage pages. All right, bye for now, my crafting buddies. I'll see you tomorrow.